Here are five good reasons people donate their vehicle. One, because they like to skip the hassles involved with selling to strangers. Two, because they'd rather save the trip and the cost of going to a repair shop. Three, because they just want more for their car than a low trade-in deal. Four, because it feels awesome to support a nonprofit and make a difference. Five, because it's tax deductible and they like saving money. And one more great reason people donate their vehicle is because it's easy. Call our toll-free number or visit us online to donate today. Good morning, good morning, and I'm excited to be back to talk to everyone. This is Morning Joy Mental Notes, and I am your host, Kenneth T.J. Joyner. Again, this show is brought to you by Therapeutic Interactions Counseling Services, where we serve people in mental health individual therapy services over in Greenville, North Carolina. You can reach us through our website, therapeuticinteractions.com, or by phone at 252-689-8671. I'm excited about today's show, um, simply because we're in the third month of this year, and it's going by fast, to be honest. It's going by pretty fast. Uh, we're seeing the weather transition over, and a lot of people, I'm seeing people get into spaces where they're trying to get settled they're they're settled in their business uh adventures they're settled in their relationships and um they just want to continue to go further go 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 forward right so i'm excited about today's topic because today's topic talks about how to assess your life currently and see where you may need to add or adjust connections but also if you don't have those connections how to identify productive connections to continue going forward like you need to go forward now, these connections are going to be important because these connections are going to feed you, but it's also going to help you to feed the world or to feed the others around you, right? So it's going to be three specific connections that I'm going to be talking about today, right? And they're going to be the connection of uh, being connected to a mentor, right? Being connected to a peer and being connected to a mentee. Now, this doesn't have to be a single person. You can find multiples, right? So we can put S's on those and have mentors, peers, and mentees. But we're going to talk about the importance of being able to identify these people in your life because it's very critical in going to the next level and continue to be, continuing to be productive in your life, right? So we want to start with the mentor and talk about what the mentor looks like and can provide. The mentor is somebody who a lot of times may be older than you but doesn't have to but it's somebody that is further along in the direction that you want to go so for some people in this season they may be looking to grow spiritually so they need to be able to identify if they have a spiritual mentor that can guide them going forward this person is somebody that can provide you with information that you might not be privy to or provision that can help you with the next steps in life right we all grew up more than likely in some type of educational system right so when you were growing up teachers were mentors without us realizing that right because they were people that had a plethora of knowledge in a direction that we were soon to go and they gave that knowledge to us and it helped us to go forward so i want you to think about it in that sense looking at your life to find out do i have mentors number one then number two are these mentors people in positions that i'm aspiring to be in or aspiring to go towards right so a mentor for myself in the business world would be somebody who is in that space of business that i'm trying to go to if i'm trying to expand my practice then i would be talking to somebody who has a practice that's expanded to or beyond the place that i'm trying to get to because they can give me information about the struggles but also give me information about the information about the things that can continue to build me up in that direction and the reason why this is important is because you gain knowledge but all of these things help us to again check ourselves we're trying to develop personal develop is big on my list so the thing that it continues to build in you is humility it takes humility to be able to sit under a person 
and take guidance and humility is important in our journey in life we can sometimes be going so much and be caught up so much in our own patterns that these types of qualities can sometimes get away from us so being able to sit under somebody creates that humble feel for life that you need going forward and it spills over into other other situations like relationships and um, connection with your family members so it's big it's huge that we find that mentor or mentors in that area or those areas that we want to go to now the second thing that i mentioned is peers right i've seen situations where i've met people and they're in a season of isolation so to speak and they make statements like i'm good by myself right i don't need people around but i would challenge that not from a standpoint of saying that you have to have all these people around you but just knowing that peers having peers is an important thing right because peers allow us to have a certain set of standards a certain expectation outside of our mundane space so sometimes we can find ourselves isolated or find ourselves wanting to pull back in certain spaces but our peers allow us to set certain standards based off of where they they are now this is not to say that you need to be doing what everybody is doing because you still want to have your sense of self but a peer is somebody that can let you know what's possible at a certain space and what a certain level of achievement looks like in a certain space if that makes sense right so for me i have colleagues and peers that are um either my in my age group or they might be in my certain field of study or discipline and i can gauge what can be done by them right now i can push to supersede those expectations but it lets me know what's possible right but then also it's an accountability space for me meaning that i don't fall to the wayside or i don't find myself in neutral too long because these people will hold me accountable either directly or indirectly when i see oh this is what the the joneses are uh, what they say keeping up with the joneses this is what's going on right now so this is the standard it's almost like I hear people in the music industry talk about how sometimes artists would be going um, and, and they would be going successfully in that time period when we were switching from like CDs to streaming. And what they didn't want to do is get with the exchange or the, the turnover, right? So if you're not in tune with the now and not in tune with the peers, then trends can pass you by. And that's not to say that you want to be a trendy person, but it's saying that you have to adjust according to the change of the climate. So your peers are the way that you know and can test what the climate looks like, right? And they can hold you to that standard or that they can hold that accountability side for you either directly or indirectly so that's why it's important to have that peer have those peers right and then what happens is it requires a certain level of discipline for us and that discipline comes in the form of your ability to be able to hold yourself to a certain certain routine a certain expectation but also your ability to be able to distinguish yourself from the peers so they can hold you accountable right and you can learn to not internalize that accountability and to decipher between what you want to take in and what you don't want to take in discipline is being able to do something even if you might not be in the mood to do so right but it's also your ability to discern what needs to be taken and what doesn't need to be taken so being connected to peers you can see through their experiences how i can navigate this thing so we have the mentor who can give that provision and guidance then we have the peers who can help us set our, our realistic expectations and our standards and goals according to and then the last is going to be the mentee and the mentee is your way of giving back it's the way that we make this thing full circle right so we were just talking about how the mentors pour into you and how you and the peers connect to build and to grow and then the mentee is how we give back now this is important one because you have to be competent in order to pass down you think about the questions that a mentee will come to you with if they need guidance to where you are going you're further ahead than them and they need guidance you have to be competent to competent in order to pass on that information that's necessary and needed right so in that you got to make sure that you're on your toes they keep you on your toes so having mentees you now have a certain expectation um, that that is outside of just your personal goals that you have you have this thing that you have to the keep 
on point in order to pass down. And then it's validation, right? When people start to seek you out, it lets you know that you're accomplished in a way. So having those mentees is an appreciation in a sense, knowing that this person sees the 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 journey that I've been on and the growth that I've I've had and they want to follow along in those steps. So being able to pass that information down is important. And the thing that this does for ourselves is it allows us to make sure that we're selfless, right? And that's that character development that we're talking about. So with the mentorship, it puts you in a place of humility. It keeps you in check in terms of humility. With peers, it keeps you in check in terms of that discipline and that discernment, right? But with the mentees, it keeps you in check in terms of that selflessness, making sure that you keep it bigger than yourself because that self-absorbed energy can bring a lot of negative behaviors, negative patterns. But if you can stay in that space of selflessness, then it helps you to develop as a character and ultimately it brings more to you. So again, just in review, those productive connections that we're assessing for or either adjusting to build are going to be mentorship, having a mentor, having a peer circle or peers around us and having a mentee. I tell people to look at it individual, right? So if you're standing, you want to have a person ahead of you that can help you with provision and guidance. You want to have a person on the side of you that can walk along with you and be relative. And then a person behind you that you can be guiding and pulling along. And if you have those, then it's going to help you to progress as a person character, character wise, but also help you to expand in whatever space that you're trying to go. So this is good for professional growth. This is good for relational growth. This is good for spiritual growth. And I charge you to take this information, utilize it and start going forward even more in your journey, right? So as we embark on the rest of this year, you can take this information and you can turn yourself into that optimal person that you know you can be, right? So again, I, th I hope today's information was beneficial. I hope that we're able to chew on it and apply it accordingly. And I charge you all to just go out and conquer the world as I know that you can, right? So again, I am Kenneth TJ Joyner. This has been Morning Joy Mental Notes. And again, it's brought to you by TherapeuticInteractions.com. And you can meet, a, you can, Therapeutic Interactions, and you can find us at TherapeuticInteractions.com. And that is spelled T-H-E-R-A-P-E-U-T-I-C. I-N-T-E-R-A-C-T-I-O-N-S dot com. And if you don't want to read us, reach us by website, you can also give us a call at 252-689-8671. I'm your host, Kenneth Joyner. This has been Morning Joy Mental Notes, and I will 